what's going on everybody ridiculous Berkeley here bringing you another LSPDFR tutorial today I'm going to show you how to install simple trainer um, it's going to be a key factor when it comes to in-game um, modding so like when you're in game you can change the weather the time uh, clean your players clothes or set your health and your armor spawn your vehicles get your guns and all that good stuff so it's going to be crucial to have this in there. That way you can do all that stuff quick and easy and uh, play faster. So if you're new here, go ahead and click that like button, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a tutorial or show some in-game in -game gameplay of LSPDFR. Uh, without further ado, let's go and jump into it and get this thing installed, guys. All right, so when you click the link below, it's going to bring you right here to this page. Okay, it's going to be on GTA5mods.com. Um, it's just called Simple Trainer GTA5 13.4. You can see here a little preview of the menu. Um, there's, there's a lot of menus inside this little menu, so whenever we do a gameplay, I will definitely show you and walk you through it. Next, we'll, we'll do one. We'll do one right now. So we got it installed right here. You can go and exit out of that, open up the WinRAR after you've uh, opened it, of course. And all of this is going to go into your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. You click on the README. Um, it's going to bring up, looks like a Microsoft type uh, form with a, a bunch of information on it. So open that up if you would like changes so you won't need these bottom two files let's just reference okay yeah so really you just need these two files here okay so we're gonna open up our Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory showed you guys how to do that several times once you're here you want to highlight these two you can either hold shift and arrow up you can hold left control and click on both of them, whichever is easier for you. You're going to drag and drop. And then there they are right there. So if you click on the one with the sprocket, the configuration setting, it'll show you all of the good uh, keybinds that they have here, and there's a lot. Um, so if you want to look through this, be my guest. Um, I'm going to show you some of the, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to show you and tell you some of the important ones here um, in game. Always refresh, exit out of it. We're done with this. You can exit out of this and let's go in the game and I'll show you the quick way how to use it. All right, guys, we are in game now and I'm going to show you the simple trainer menu. By default, it's going to be F3. And you see up there at the top left, it brings up our menu. And the way that you're going to control this um, is not your arrow keys and your enter key. It's going to be on your keypad. Down is 2. Up is 8. And then once you get into the menus, um, 6 is right, which changes your menus. And 4 is left. So if you're wanting to go, say, to add money, for whatever reason, you actually have to arrow down or arrow all the way up to get there let's go to uh, max armor so your enter key or your select key is going to be the number pad five as you can see there I just added max armor if you don't want any pads you don't want any cars no trains you just do that by arrowing down arrowing up and selecting it with the five key okay so it's simple. Um, look through this. I'm sorry. Zero is your backspace key. So if you go into a menu and you're ready to be done with that, click zero and it'll take you out. So this is how you're going to spawn all your vehicles. So like vehicle spawning is an emergency and you can spawn, let's say, a police cruiser. Okay. I'm going to show you guys how to do cars here in a minute, okay? I added this one in just for test purposes. Um, this one's made by Jedediah. But, so that's how you spawn vehicles in and all that good stuff. Um, you can 
teleport to places. Change the time of day. Afternoon. Officers report a 148 in uh change the weather. I'm gonna get rain. I get thunder. All that good stuff, guys, okay? Like I said, you're well let's turn that off, that's too loud. <laughs> So your select key is going to be number pad 5, and your backspace key is going to be number pad 0, and then your directionals are 8, 2, 4, and 6. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if I taught you something new or helped you out in any way, go ahead and click that like button, subscribe, tell your friends about me. Click that notification bell, that way you can get notified every time that I upload a video. Um, love you guys, be safe, have fun patrolling.